Hi, my name is Nicole Haugen, and I am a life coach for Catholic nurses. And when this video is released, it's Ash Wednesday. So I've seen a lot of people comment on Facebook and wherever else about, do you wipe off your ashes on Ash Wednesday? Or when you're in the public and you're going about going to work, possibly as a nurse, do you leave the ashes on? So we're going to model it out. But first, what I want to say is we only do anything because of the feeling it gives us, right? So if we are afraid that we're going to show up to work with ashes on our forehead and somebody will say something to us or put us on the spot or make us feel bad, like that's why we want to take off those ashes, right? Because we don't want to feel con confronted. We don't want to, we don't want to have the feeling of even fear that someone might confront us. So how can we show up today just at peace with having ashes on our forehead? So first we're going to run an unintentional model. I got this, the models from the, um, Brooke Castillo at the Life Coach School. That's why I got certified coaching through. So circumstances, Ash Wednesday, and you have ashes on your forehead, right? Our circumstance is neutral. It's a day of the calendar year. Like it's a liturgical thing. It's evidence on calendars. You can see it. You have a thought about that, which is I should wipe them off. Okay. You're placing an expectation upon yourself of I should do that. Then you feel guilty because even in your mind, you might even have the thought, the second thought of a good Catholic wouldn't wipe them off, right? Okay, so you have the actions of you wipe off the ashes or you try to cover them up if you have bangs. You question if you should have done that. Like you see others with ashes on, so then you belittle yourself, right? And you kind of spin on it in your mind, you ruminate on it all day. And then when you get home, like you're exhausted because you've been spinning on this all day and you get upset with your husband and kids and then you don't pray, right? And then I I think we're, we're going to change this to a good Catholic wouldn't wipe off their ashes. Okay. A good Catholic wouldn't wipe off their ashes, them being the ashes. And then we take all these actions from that thought and you don't show up as good Catholic, right? Or if you want to go with the first thought, you show up as a Catholic who wipes off their faith, right? You brush it aside because you don't want to have to deal with it. You want to have that uncomfortable feeling which that's perfectly okay. If that's where you're at, to say that's where I'm at. I don't really know enough about my faith. Like, I don't think I can handle questions today. It's been stressful. My kids have been sick. Like, I don't want to deal with it. I'm just going to wipe them off. But just decide that. What happens is when we sit in this indecisiveness, that our mind just keeps playing it over and over again, and it's exhausting. So we're going to flip to... If you want to keep the ashes on, again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just how do you show up because of the thought you think about it? Okay. So again, the circumstances is ash, ash Wednesday. You have ashes on your forehead and you have the thought, I'm practicing my faith. You feel confident. And then your actions are you leave the ashes on. You maybe walk a little taller. You smile and maybe even get excited when you see other people who have ashes on their forehead. Maybe you sing during the day. Like I know I always catch myself like singing the songs, right? Like um, of the mass that I went to, they kind of get stuck in my head or even the response royal psalm. Like I'll kind of get it stuck in my head when I'm in a good mood. And then you pray and you come home at the end of the day, you're speaking kindly to the kids and the husband and you show up. Your result is you are practicing your faith. So again, it's not what's right or wrong. It's just what are your thoughts about it? If you if you show up thinking a good Catholic would keep ashes on and then you don't, you're going to show up like not a good Catholic, right? But if you have the thought, 
I'm practicing my faith. And I even like the thought, the thought practicing, because that means I don't have to be perfect at it, right? I might not have all the answers if somebody confronts me and has a question about, oh, you have a smudge on your forehead, right? Be like, yeah, it's Ash Wednesday, <laughs> you know? So hope that helps. And again, just make a decision. Don't spin and spiral about it. It's not a big deal. Jesus isn't going to condemn us because we wiped ashes off of our forehead, right? Like he loves us in all our humanness. He knows we want to fit in. He knows that it's important to us. So he's going to love us wherever we're at. So I hope you have a great Wednesday.